All right, so keep getting this and I'm able to verify updates on Apple Watch, especially when it comes to update your watch. Well, if you ever encountered this problem called unable to verify update, this watch OS update couldn't be verified because you are not connected to the internet. Don't worry, in today's video, I'll show you how you can easily solve the problem. So let's go. Okay, so this problem mainly happens when you have problems with the network on your phone. So first, all you can do, of course, um, you can just go and open up your settings and go to your Wi-Fi. Make sure your iPhone is connected with the stable Wi-Fi network. At the very same time, your Apple Watch should be with the same Wi-Fi network. So what you can do, you can go to the settings and check out your Wi-Fi. It should be on the same Wi-Fi network. Now, what you can also do on your Apple Watch, like on your iPhone, you can grab your uh, iPhone and you can type check internet speed. Um, so if you simply type that and if you just tap go here, you can see there is a various website that will let you know your current internet speed. So here, for example, my Wi-Fi is, uh, let me just check the network again. Okay, so let me check it from here. Getting on a wave, so let me tap and go. So if you found that your internet speed is really low or maybe not stable, I would say just try to switch your network. Let's say you're connected with uh, mobile data, I would say just turn it up and connect it with strong Wi-Fi network connections. And I'll, at the very same time, also make sure your Bluetooth is enabled because uh, if you turn up the Bluetooth here, then you will disconnect your Apple Watch from your iPhone. So make sure like all these things are enabled from here. And now all you want to do on your Apple Watch, however, um, you want to just go to the settings one more time. Uh, this time around, I would say also check out the Bluetooth to make sure your Bluetooth should be turned on from here. And now all you got to do, just go ahead and press and hold the power button here and simply restart your watch. Okay, tap the power button here, power it off, wait for some time. And I would say do exactly the same for your iPhone, okay? Simply tap on the access touch more and tap restart and tap restart again and wait for a bit unless your device gets turned back on again so once your device is going to be turned back on again and then i'll say just try to update your watch one more time and see what happens i can tell you guys like after following this your problem is definitely going to be solved 